before this video starts, I want to claim everybody and their dog has made a 2x2 design before. Uh, so if you see something from another person's design, just note that they are credited in the description. Um, I've tried not to copy anybody too much, but it's very hard with a 2x2. I've made sure I've put my own little twist on things. So yeah, go check out the people in the description. But that's enough of me rambling. Let's get into the video. If you want to win this Royal AK skin, make sure you leave a comment and I'll be choosing a winner in the next video from the comments. Also, the winner from the last video is right at the end. So make sure you watch through to get that. So, for the tool, coming up to our airlock, we have a nice little window here. We have where our bunker would usually be, three furnaces. We have our standard locker, another shotgun trap, and an essential for all solo players, which is a shop. Jumping up to the front, we have four small boxes, four barbecues, a drop box, and another shotgun trap. Coming here, we have seven large boxes and a couple small boxes. The space has a lot of storage. We also have our level two. Two more boxes and a lot of small boxes. Coming into the TC room, we have more small boxes and our TC. The upkeep on this is pretty easy to maintain, especially later into wipe. And uh, that is the base. So starting this one off, we start with one low, two high foundations, and a low one on the other side. Follow that up by four half walls on each of the low foundations. Choose where you want your door, and cover the rest in with walls. We can go ahead and fill our, all our roofs in, and slap our door down. Place a wall to the left of the door, and we can place our TC. Now in front of the TC, we can place two large boxes and a small box. Place a triangle to the left and we can place more large boxes on that triangle. Now placing our garage door down in front of that, we place a small box and come out the side and with our twig foundations, we can add another triangle on top of that. Place two more boxes on top of that triangle. And now we should be able to access the TC. Now we should have enough garage doors to place one to the left here, where our tier two should go. Now you want to make sure you place this bag before you place this triangle, or else you will not be able to place it later. Doing the same as we did for our TC room, there's another triangle like so. Now we can go ahead and slap all of our boxes down. There's our workbench room. Coming across here, we can place a, another garage door we can fit three boxes under here place a triangle above that and we can fit two more boxes like so now again coming outside using the foundation trick place another triangle facing to the left Placing two more boxes on top of that. Now, if you can't fit through there, you've placed your boxes wrong, so try again. Just in front of our door, we can fit four barbecues and four small boxes, and also a drop box behind us.
Now from here we can start our honeycomb. Now the honeycomb is a little bit more expensive than the normal 2x2s, two two, but that's just because we have some raised ones. Now the base should look like that. Coming to the front, we can place three low foundations. Cover that in with two high foundations to seal our bunker. Now we place a door here to the right. And this is where you can slap a shop down. Now this idea I got from a guy called Temple Taps on YouTube. Make sure you go check him out. Be sure to put his link in the description. Cover that in with two walls, a door frame and a wall frame. Airlock here. Now here we can place our three furnaces and cover that in with two half walls. Destroy the bottom half wall and replace it with a low wall. That creates an extra little bit of honeycomb just to save your ass later. Now for our bunker we go one half wall, one normal wall and destroy the half wall. Place two garage door frames here and two roofs above that. Place our garage doors. And this is where we can put our locker. Now on top of that we can place more drop box storage. So currently this is what the base should look like and also when you have enough materials we can go ahead and start upgrading. Now you can upgrade this to whatever you want but I advise doing it the same I have. Just like so. Now you want all of this to be high quality metal in the core and the rest of your core to be metal. And that is the end of this video. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. So, the winner for the last video is LT Nico. Hey, nice comment, brother. Uh, make sure you hit me up on Discord. The link will be in the description. Uh, and I'll sort you out with your skin. Thanks for the comment. I'll see you in the next one.